Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at some of the most common data types that are used in SQL tables. Because I've noticed we've been using the same student data example with the same four columns throughout this entire series, I felt that maybe we wanted some exposure to the other data types in SQL that are commonly used as well. So we're going to be looking at two different tables and we'll be looking at a bunch of different data types. It'll be a pretty quick video. So I'm creating another version of the students table first. And here's four of the most commonly used data types. One of them is varchar, which is like a string. And usually you put inside some number, which is the maximum length of the variable character or string that you expect in that field. So for student name, I'm saying a name can be no bigger than 255 characters, which should be true. Another data type that's used commonly is float. So this is some kind of decimal number for a GPA. Another varchar for major. You can put, of course, a different length if you expect it to be smaller or expect it to be bigger. You can also put the word max in here if you want just the biggest size that's possible. A year is an integer because a student is either a first, second, third, or fourth year. And here's another one that we looked at in one previous video, which is bit, which is zero or one, a binary. So whether the student is in state or not in state. So we can execute that. We create a table. We insert just some student who's named Ray, 3.4 GPA, physics major, third year, in state and we get that student is inside the database. Now, before moving on to some other data types, I wanted to give some commentary on these. So float uh, has a certain precision. There's, of course, many different types of floats. If you want something higher precision or lower precision, you can look at that. Integer, also there's many different types of integers if you expect your integer to be really, really, really big um, or really small, for example. Of course, there's trade-offs with these data types. The more precision you get in a float, for example, the more types of floats you can put in there, the higher number you can put in there. But of course, it's going to take longer to run if you have higher numbers in there. So this is a couple different data types. Here's the last couple I wanted to talk about. Here's a second table called essays. Let's say it just keeps track of submissions for an essay assignment at an English class, maybe. So we have date submitted, which is a date, time submitted, which is a time, and essay text, which is something called text, which can be an arbitrarily large I think actually not arbitrarily, but the limit is like two gigabytes or something. A very, very large piece of text, such as an essay. I can execute that. So I'm going to put in the date as 2019, 1231, the time as this 334, and the essay, I've just put in the entire Gettysburg address in here, something really big like an essay. We can go ahead and insert those values, and we get exactly that data inside here. A date, a time, and a big essay. So I just wanted to give a quick survey of some commonly used data types in SQL. This is still not all of them. There's more specific ones you can use in very, very particular situations. But these are the most commonly used data types in SQL. All right. So until next time.